What it do, man? It's your boy Battle Truth coming to you live and direct from the Battle Truth headquarters. Let's get right off into this, man. Shouts out to Aver, man, uh, on a a good battle versus Shotgun Suge that went down on Silver War, man. That was a good battle. We ain't seen an A verb like that in a long time. And I just want to uh, give credit to what credit is due. You know, I mean, when the brother messing up, we let him hear, hear it all the time. We don't hesitate to let him hear it. Like, man, that was trash. You got 30. You make up all these excuses. Yeah, we, 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 we let him have it every time. And just like we can go public and let him know and let the battle rap community know how bad he was. When he do good, we also should let the battle rap community know how good he is and what he did. Now him and Shotgun Suge had a battle by which they battled up, they battled each other, and Gerald McCoy put down ten thousand dollars extra to go along with what they battled for. Also, uh, again for one of these A verb battles, he he always putting up money for A verb battles. Again. To give him the money. But again, if you want him to work for it and earn it, no big deal. However, I'm going to say this. Verb came with it. Verb, for the most part, it's not his lyrical ability. Because he definitely, I, I, I'm, I'm going to show you some things about Verb that I liked about him. And why um, I, 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 he was one of my favorites. Um, first, I like the fact that he don't steal bars. I always like that about uh, the St. Louis guy, them, that they didn't, they never really been accused of stealing bars, recycling lines. They always came with original material, like always. And as a result of that, what I liked about him was that he was very creative when it came to his wordplay and his pen game. But I liked how he would, he knew how to pace himself. He knew how to uh, uh, pace himself in a battle where he was relaxed, he was poised. You know what I'm saying? Um, and he knew how to incorporate the performance that went with the material. And when he would rap, he had this way about him that it was very entertaining to make what he wrote hit on impact, whether it's in a small room or main stage. I don't know what ended up happening to Verb, but I think he came, he went to the point where he was basically like, he started changing his style. And it got so. Uh, to the point where he couldn't get out of it, it started hurting him a lot. Like he lost his rhythm. He lost his uh, his swag. It was like he was going through an identity crisis. Coming up with all these different names, trying to find himself. Uh, the Island God, Cocaine VZ, Verve Von Doom. You know, just all these different names trying to find self. And I don't even understand how he lost himself. Because if it ain't broke, don't try to fix it. What he was doing was working good for him and had him as one of the most feared battle rappers in battle rap history. And at one time, it was to the point that he was literally in the conversations as goats. And that's the thing that made me salty about him. When it got to that point where he was actually in the conversations of GOAT and he didn't know how to grab that moment and take it and use it to his advantage to put him on a pedestal where he couldn't be reached in battle rap. He didn't know how to do that right. He didn't move properly. And that hurt him even to this day, to the point that where it should have crowned him it was used to remove him to a point that he went right back to just being average. You don't go from battling murder mook to loaded luck to now going back being average. 
being talked against, being talked down on. As a result of your lack of caring, your poor uh, preparation, you losing your passion and your heart to rap, but make up excuses every time you lose. Every time you lose, you're making up excuses. And it's always somebody's fault. Either you blaming it on the out of towners, you blaming it out of the you blaming it in the culture, you blaming it on the league owners, when the fact of the matter is you with the problem. Your cadence is off. And you got to get back to it. And that's what went different in this battle of versus shotgun should. The way he paints himself. That you heard heard the material at a point where it was uh, uh, presentable and reached the maximum potential of why it was crafted and put together to do as a result of how he wrapped it. He took his time. He didn't rush through the flow. He was on rhythm, and it came out better. That's the thing we've been saying for the past few years, what you don't do no more. Stay on rhythm. Stay on rhythm. Because as of lately, he'd be offbeat, rushing through rounds, rushing through his rounds like he rapping to remember his material. The confidence not there. He's stumbling over the words a lot. So that was the problem we was having with him as a result of that. But it always come from not caring. Being lazy. Only to blame people for the results that come out of being lazy and not caring. But when you care and you want it, you're always in a fight. You're always in a fight. Again, that's another reason why I like LeBron James and I don't like Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant wanted it easy. LeBron worked for it. During the season, out of the season, he continuously work on his body because he go after them things and he know he the face of the NBA. So he lead by example. He afflict his body that he may reap the, uh, the rewards of it rather than just sitting there thinking you just going to put a ball in a hoop. No, you need to stay healthy. You need to lift weights. You need to be eat right. You need to get the proper sleep. You need to train right. You need to. And a lot of them basketball players don't do that. But you want the reward. You want the championship reward at the end of the year. But you ain't willing to put in all the work that's necessary to put in to actually obtain it and get it. No. Sorry. It don't work like that. But what I liked about him in this battle was he looked at like his old self again. The bars was there. The cadence was there. The aggression was there. The stage presence was there. You heard him. And it was more and it was that much more appreciated. Like I said, Verb ain't never had a problem with his pen. The pen is there. It just he forgot how to pace himself. He forgot how to actually um, make his material connect with his performance. He 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 lost that, and and he started getting to the point where he was rapping without confidence. But it wasn't this so. This day he actually came with it. He actually did his thing, and it actually worked for him. I had him winning the battle first and second round easy, first and third round. No, it was first and second. I had Verb clearly winning the first and second. Shotgun Suge was fire, though, through all three rounds. I gave him the third round, but I had Verb the first and second. So I believe Verb did a good job. And I believe um, this is what he's supposed to be. How do you how do you got all this tape out here, all this information out here, and you can't go back to the tapes and see what made you great? When you're looking at this footage, 
you can see what you used to do based upon what you're doing now and tell that there's a difference. Show that it tells you that there's a difference in, uh, in that, you know? And you're looking at the game tape, bro. That should, that should build something in you. There's a lot of money to be made in battle rap. A lot of doors can open for a person in battle rap also. But when you call to do this, you got to have a heart. You got to have a heart to win. You got to have a heart to actually push yourself. Because you know that out of your career, you only get out of it what you put in it. With that being said, it's your boy Battle Truth. Congratulations to Averb who did his thing. Been a long time, brother. I hope you're back in the game. It's easy to see your faults and failures and correct your mistakes. Um, that being said, it's your boy Battle Truth. I'm tired.